Welcome to the National Crime Victimization Survey Knowledge Corner. This short video will focus on the NCBS data file structure. There are two options for the NCBS public use data files, annual files and concatenated or cumulative data files. These data files are archived at the National Archive of Criminal Justice Data, or NACJD. Annual files include individual year of data and codebooks contain detailed information for that particular year. There are five data files included when you download an annual data study from NACJD. Study is the term NACJD uses to refer to the data collection they are archiving. They have studies available in a variety of software types. We'll discuss more details about the three most important files shortly, but for a quick overview now, the address file contains information about the household as reported by the respondent and characteristics of the surrounding area as computed by the U.S. Census Bureau. There's not a lot of variables on this file. The household file contains information about the household. A primary use of this file is to estimate the number of households in the U.S. Person file contains information about each household member age 12 or older. The primary use of this file is to estimate the number of persons aged 12 or older in the U.S. The incident file contains information from the incident report completed for each household incident or person incident mentioned during the NCBS interview. And finally, the incident level extract file, which is not the same as the incident record type file, is a file created by appending household and person variables to incident records. This allows analysts to examine demographic characteristics and household characteristics of persons that reported a crime incident. Files 2, 3, and 5 are the most commonly used for NCBS analysis. Concatenated or cumulative files include years of data from 92 to the most recent year. Using these files allows for the examination of crime over time. We're looking at trends in crime. Concatenated codebooks include less details because there are so many years of data included in these files. Data users should refer to the specific annual codebooks for more information about a particular year of NCS data. There are three data files included when you download a concatenated NCS study, household, person, and incident level extract file. This graphic shows and explains the hierarchical structure of the NCBS data and subsequent data files. First, you have an address and then a household living within that address. We'll say the Morgan family lives at this address and there are three people in the household aged 12 or older. The first person reported two incidents within the last six month reference period. The other two people living in the household didn't report any incidents. Then let's say the Morgan family moved and the Smith family moved into that address. They would become the new household and would now be interviewed for the NCBS because that address is still in the NCBS sample. They have one person age 12 or older living in the household and they reported one incident that occurred in the past six months. As I said earlier, there are three most important data files within the NCBS data study, which is why I'm going to discuss further here. The household file contains information about the household and the household respondent. The household respondent must be 18 years old and is the person most knowledgeable about the household. Household variables are named V2XXX, where these are the 2000 level variables. The person file contains information about each person in the household ages 12 or older. Person-level variables are named V3, XXX, or 3,000-level variables. The incident file contains information about each criminal incident reported by respondents. Personal crimes include violent crimes and personal larceny and can be reported by any person age 12 or older. Property crimes are classified as household-level crimes and reported by the household respondent. Incident level variables are named B4, XXX, or 4,000 level variables. Remember what I said earlier about the incident level extract file having household and person demographic characteristics on it. The household level variables would be named B2, XXX, and the person level variables would be named B3, XXX on this incident level extract file. The household and person level files contain records 
or rows of data for all persons and households in the sample, even if they didn't report any victimization within the last six months because we want to know the denominator so that we can say out of X persons or households in the population, Y experienced a victimization or incident. The incident file only contains people who report victimizations. Each row of data is a different incident. If someone reported more than one incident, each of those incidents would be a separate row of data on the file. The NCDS annual public use data files include collection year data from January 1st to December 31st. These dates are based on the date of the interview, not the date of the incident. Most of the sampled persons and households should be included twice in the person or household level files. NCDS interviews are conducted continuously throughout the year and persons in each household are interviewed every six months for a total of seven interviews. So in the data files, interview one is January through June, and interview two is July through December. One seventh of the sample phases in during July through December, and one seventh of the, of the sample phases out, along with the addition of replacement households or when a new family moves into a ha sampled household. Keep in mind then that every person or household won't have two interviews in a given year, but the majority will. For additional information on the NCBS, see the NCBS page on the BGS webpage. You can also see the NCBS technical documentation for more information about the methodology. Please email askbjs at usdoj with any questions and your email will be forwarded to BGS statisticians with topical experience. Finally, you can access the NCBS public use data files at the National Archive of Criminal Justice Data. Thank you.